James here from GoodGuitarist.com and today I'm going to be teaching row, row, row your boat. As I mentioned last time, my one and a half year old loves good music, but something happens to her when these kids songs come on, you know, when she listens to American Girl by Tom Petty, the music definitely gets to her, but she doesn't really know what the lyrics are about, you know, it's pretty abstract, but these kids songs she knows exactly what they're about and she can really connect with them. And when I play her these songs on guitar, she can connect with me, with guitar, with music, you know, and it's my goal with this series to help you do that as well. If you need help following along with this tutorial, I have a chord chart available on my Patreon page. There's also my 100% free ebook available to all my subscribers. There's a link for that down below. And there's my complete beginner's course if you'd like a step-by-step -step path and to build a solid foundation on guitar. Either way, let's get started with the chord shapes. This one's just A and E. If you're already good and comfortable with those chord shapes, I'll put a timestamp in the corner. You can switch ahead to the next part. Otherwise, let's take a minute and let's work through them. First, we have our A chord. And when we're switching to E, I wanna lift up my first finger. And then these two are already in position. We just move them up to where they belong on the E chord, just move them up a couple times, and then we put our first finger back down. So we're kind of switching in two steps. You know, we lift our finger, move, put it back. And by doing it consistently, that's how you develop that muscle memory. That's how you get these chord shapes comfortable, get them out of the way so that you can focus on the other things like strumming and singing. So when we're on our E chord and we want to switch back, we just reverse the steps. You know, we lift these two, put them there, and then put our first finger down. And just try that silently, you know, just going through the steps. Slow as you need to go. I'll put a video up in the corner where you can practice just switching between A and E. And when you're ready, we're going to play the chord shapes down strokes only. It's mostly the A chord. We're going to count out loud so that we can switch at the right time. Here we go. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, E, A. Let's do it one more time. This time I'll sing the words just so we can kind of use that as a guide. Three, four, row. Row, row your boat gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream So we're strumming two times per measure. There's six measures of A. Then we have our one chord switch to E and then one more measure of A. So just take a look at that, work that out. And when you're ready, we can learn the strumming pattern, which goes like this. So it's a really simple one, just down, up, down, up. But we're swinging the rhythm, and that means the down strokes are a little bit longer. And we can count it out in a particular way to make sure that we really nail it. We would go one and a, uh, two and a. Uh. So the down stroke takes up one and, and then our up stroke is a. Uh. And then the same thing for beat two. You know, so it's the same thing two times in a row. Let's just count it out loud and try that. One and a, uh, two and a, uh, one and a, uh, two and a, uh, one and a, uh, two and a, uh, one and a, uh, two and a. Uh. So work that out, count it out, and get comfortable with it. And when you're ready, we can add that to our chord progression, starting on A. One and a, uh, two. That's the chords and strumming portion of this lesson. Now we're going to take a look at the melody. It goes like this.
Now this one has uh, one section where the notes are pretty quick, and I played it with my thumb on purpose just to demonstrate that it is possible to do it that way, just doing downstrokes with your thumb or with your finger. But using a pick and alternate picking going down up, that does make it a little bit easier. for that part, right? It is a little bit easier with a pick, but don't worry about it. Either way, I'm gonna be doing this with my finger. And we'll start out we'll, in phrases. First, we'll do row, row, row your boat. So we're on the second fret of the G string. I'm putting my first finger there, and I'm gonna go row, row, row. So three times. Then on the B string, the next string over, we go O2, still using my first finger. Let's get just that part. On the G string, two, 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 oh, two. Try that a couple times. You know, you can just pause the video, try it out. And now the next part is gently down the stream. It's mostly on the B string. We're going two, oh, two, three, and then we go to the E string, open. And I'm playing that third fret with my middle finger. So just try that. Just maybe even go O, oh, two, three, just to make sure you can reach all the frets. Then two, O, oh, two, three, O. Oh. Try that part a little bit yourself. Next, we have the fast part. We're going to put our pinky on the fifth fret of the thinnest string. We're going to pluck it three times. Merrily. And then we go open three times merrily and then here i'm going to put my first finger on the second fret but i'm going to put it a little bit higher so that the tip of it is on the g string so that way i'm on the b string and then i can roll down to the g string just try that just going two two the tip is on g and then you lean a little bit pull your elbow out that's how you get the b string so this next part we're starting off on the b string but our finger's a little high Two, 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 roll down, two, two, two. So just this part, we're playing each note three times. We go from the fifth fret to the open string, and then we put our finger a little bit high. Two, two. Let's do it together nice and slow. One and uh, two and uh, merrily. Oh, 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 two. And finally, life is but a dream. We're just descending, starting off on the open highest string. We go O, and then on the B string, three, two, O, and then the second fret of the G string. One more time on the thinnest string. O, three, two, O, and then two. So let's try just the melody together, nice and slow. A one and a two and a one and a row, a, a row your boat gently down the stream and a two and a merrily, 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 merrily. merrily. Right on, so you can rewind that, try that as many times as you need to until you're comfortable with it. Do the same thing with the chords. And now we're gonna have a play along where you can see everything on the screen, both the rhythm and the melody part. And I want you to practice both of them with this section to really get comfortable with it and to really get ready for it. So this is the play along part where you can play along as many times as you need to. One, two, one, two.
All right, so that's how you play Row, Row, Row Your Boat. And if you need any extra help, don't forget about my free ebook, the chord charts on my Patreon, my complete beginner's course. You can also ask any questions you have in the comments down below. Um, we're going to be back in a couple Mondays with another kid's song. I am relocating my studio, however, so there's a chance that I might be a little delayed, but I'm going to try my best to have another one two Mondays from now. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing, and I'll see you soon.